Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with stories about my invaders hunt in different cities that I visited. So basically, as I was saying in the previous video, I uh, spent three weeks in New York, found out about invaders and done a bunch there. Uh, at that time, I was actually living kind of based in Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. So at the end of my trip, uh, of my New York trip, I went back to Melbourne and started working again. I was actually doing some Uber Eats uh, deliveries, so I knew the city pretty well, but I had not seen uh, invaders yet, uh, which is not surprising since uh, Melbourne only has, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, about 25... Um, well, yeah, okay. about 25 uh, invaders there uh, I only got eight of them uh, I actually spent basically was not my priority I just hadn't found out about that game uh, and I didn't know really how to find them I was able to find the most obvious ones I didn't even know about the website that I'm currently using to know which one are active and not active. It's called Invader Spotter or Spotter Invader or something like that. I'll just put the link in the description below of all the tools that I use to find my invaders. Once again, I was quite a beginner. I didn't really know what I was doing, how to spot correctly all those invaders. And I didn't do a really great job. I stayed like for about three more months. So January, February, March, like two months and a half. And in two months and a half, I only got eight. So uh, actually finding Space Invader in Melbourne is fairly hard in my experience. Once again, I used the same trick, trick that I had in New York is that I found some maps here and there uh, Google Maps mostly so not very efficient, not very good uh, not, nothing special to say the, one of the shame of this city which is why this video is gonna be even shorter than the previous one is that I didn't even get any footage because uh, I was just doing them while I was doing my Uber Eats drive and stuff. So I'm just gonna show you the eight that I have. Uh, and oh yeah, and that's the opportunity as well to make the video a bit longer. I'm just gonna talk to you about the way that I now operate. So since, so basically New York and Melbourne were like the first cities that I've done and I didn't really know how to do my research. And then I learned a lot on doing research. One of the big websites that I've used is Invader Spotter, uh, which is a French, somewhat French, I think, website. Mostly, most of the stuff on there are in French. But you can uh, see if some invaders are still active or not, which is pretty great. Spotter. So you just put, type spotter invader in Google and you'll get invader spotter.free.fr uh, and yeah, there's, well, there's actually an English version of the website. So you go to mosaics by cities and for example, I'm just gonna go check Melbourne. Uh, I was in Australia, I didn't even go to Perth while I was in Melbourne, so probably I'll need to go back there once again. Uh, one day maybe and basically you just crawl on uh, the city that you want if it, there is a little green invaders and it says okay you'll know that uh, it's probably still there you do even get the point uh, the number of points that it's uh, able to award you and the last time it was uh, seen or yeah just told to the guy that the invader is still there. And that's about it. There's just two that I did not get and I, that I could have gotten. So yeah, most of the others are just have been uh, erased. 
So not too bad actually, only two that I missed. But yeah, so Spotter Invader definitely a very great source uh, to check. For example, if you want to do a trip somewhere, for example, Rome, I know, I, I want to go to Rome at some point, but just going there for the invaders, because a lot of them have been destroyed, it might be a bit of a deception. So maybe check that website before you go. That's like one of the best source you can get. Uh, and then there's like Instagram to maybe spot them a little better. Uh, Google Maps is a great tool to find them, especially if you have like the street name or stuff like that, or if you have a view of where they are. For example, in Lyon, I'll, I'll talk to you about that in Lyon. If you have kind of like the scenery that they are in uh, with the 3D tools, the satellites, 3D tools of Google Maps, you can very well do uh, some good research. I think that's about it for this video. Uh, next city will be, will I'll be back in Belgium basically for the next things. I'm gonna talk to you about the one in Charleroi and uh, probably, because there's only one in Charleroi, probably talk about Brussels and other cities in Belgium. Didn't have much clues in here. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna have some good tips on the next video about the invaders that you can find in Belgium and maybe some of them you're, have a, you're having a hard time to find and I can definitely help you with them. Thank you very much for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.